KCI Basic VAC Dressing Application. The VAC therapy system is indicated for patients with chronic, acute, traumatic, subacute antihist wounds, partial thickness burns, ulcers such as diabetic, pressure or venous insufficiency, flaps, and grafts. This video is intended for clinicians. Prior to use of the VAC therapy system, consult detailed product instructions and important prescribing information contained in the KCI VAC therapy clinical guidelines and the device or disposables specific user's guide. Additional safety information specific to the VAC therapy system is available at the end of this video. Contact your local KCI representative or call 1-800-275-4524 if you have any questions before initiating therapy. If you are performing a dressing change, be sure to identify the number of foam pieces previously placed in the wound. Ensure that you remove all the foam pieces. VAC Dressing Application Assess wound size and type. Cut dressing to appropriate size. Do not cut dressing over wound, as this could result in foam particles falling into the wound. Gently place dressing in wound without overlapping onto intact skin. Note the total number of pieces of foam used in the wound. VAC Drape Application Measure 3 to 5 centimeters from border of intact skin. Trim VAC drape to size. Retain blue handling tab on portion of VAC drape used. Peel back one side of layer one. Place adhesive side down over wound. Remove the remaining side of layer one. Remove green striped stabilization layer two. Remove perforated blue handling tabs. Sensatrack pad application. Identify Sensatrack pad application site. Pinch drape. Cut at least a 2.5 cm round hole. Do not cut a slit or an X as it could self seal. Remove backing layers 1 and 2 from Sensatrack pad. Place Sensatrack pad opening directly over hole in drape. Apply gentle pressure to secure. Pull blue tab to remove stabilization layer. Connect Sensatrack pad tubing to canister tubing and open clamps. Count and note the number of foam pieces used in the wound and document on the supplied foam quantity labels on the VAC ruler and in the patient's chart. Record the date of the dressing change. The foam quantity labels can be peeled off and placed in an area that can be seen by the next treating clinician. For example, around the Sensatrack tubing, on the VAC drape, and in the patient's chart. Turn on power to the VAC therapy unit and set to the physician prescribed therapy settings to initiate therapy. VAC therapy is contraindicated for patients with malignancy in the wound, untreated osteomyelitis, non-enteric and unexplored fistulas and necrotic tissue with eschar present. After debridement of necrotic tissue and complete removal of eschar, VAC therapy may be used after hemostasis has been achieved. VAC therapy foam dressings should not be placed directly in contact with exposed blood vessels, anastomotic sites, organs, or nerves. Patients with sensitivity to silver should not use the VAC granufoam silver dressing. Do not place any foam dressing into blind, unexplored tunnels. The VAC white foam dressing may be used with explored tunnels. Instructions for use and safety information. As with any device, it is important to read and understand the detailed instructions for use and safety information, including information on bleeding, exposed vessels and organs, and infection, applicable to your VAC therapy unit and dressing application that can be found within the therapy unit, disposables carton, 
or in the VAC Therapy Clinical Guidelines www.kci1.com These sources provide information concerning the proper application of all VAC therapy dressings, including advanced applications and techniques. If you have product questions, please contact KCI at 1-800-275-4524, option number 3. KCI offers device training upon request.